everyone. This is Krista Clark with ArtisticVegan.com and welcome back to another Artistic Vegan show. Today we'll be making a spaghetti squash lasagna casserole. This is out of this world, relatively low calorie, especially compared to regular lasagna. It takes a lot less time. We will be making a homemade sauce, a homemade cheese, and then compiling it all together and baking that in the oven with layers of delicious goodness. You're gonna love this recipe and the squash. Has lots of vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin B, good minerals, fiber, and more. So when you get your, your natural vitamins and minerals from your foods, it's actually better than taking a multivitamin. So this meal is your multivitamin. This recipe you will need one good size spaghetti squash that's roasted. Mine was about medium. It came out to about three and a half cups after I roasted it and then I pulled it all out and then I drained it and I drained about that much water out of it in a jar. So that was pretty incredible. So you can drain the water out first and it will be less mushy in your, in your final product, which is what you want. We'll be making our own cheese out of dairy-free milk. I'm gonna use the coconut milk that I picked up. Usually I make our milk for this recipe with cashews, um, but, but I thought, why not use the coconut milk? I had it in the fridge, so we'll use that. And then I have some raw cashews that I've soaked. You can soak these overnight or soak them in hot water for 10 to 15 minutes. Then I have some potato starch. You can use arrowroot starch or corn starch or, or whatever starch you like. This is four tablespoons of starch. Then one and a half teaspoon of salt. You could use more or less, whatever you like here. And two tablespoons of the apple cider vinegar. And this is the most basic cheese sauce. You can increase the flavor with garlic, onion, herbs, whatever you like. I've even added a jalapeno and made it spicy for when I'm doing Mexican. So we'll blend this up. It'll At first it'll look very liquidy, but as it heats, it'll get really incredibly gooey, so that's awesome. For the sauce, you can simply buy a jar of sauce if you would like. Or you can make your own, which is what I'm going to do. I can't believe it, but I got all these tomatoes. This is four cups of tomatoes, and it was only a dollar. So that's pretty awesome. I'm going to use that. And I have some fresh herbs. And you could use basil, parsley, whatever you'd like. I have fresh oregano here. And it just smells so good. Half a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of black pepper, a half a teaspoon of thyme. One teaspoon of red chili flakes, so you could use more, and two tablespoons of a dried, you can use Italian seasoning, you could use basil, I have oregano. Then I have one can of organic tomato paste, it's 170 grams. The can was, and that comes out to a heaping half cup of fresh onion. I have one cup of chopped onion, and I have the hugest clove of garlic. Two large cloves should work here, or about two tablespoons. Mine's about two and a half. So I'm gonna go ahead and make the sauce first on the stove, then the cheese, and come back, and we'll assemble it in a nine by 13 dish. We have our homemade sauce, our homemade vegan cheese spread, and our roasted spaghetti squash. 
We're just going to layer it all together and then pop that in the oven. The oven is preheating to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. I have pre-greased a 9 by 13 sheet. So you could also completely pass all those steps and just start with your roasted spaghetti, squash it and squeezed, a jar of sauce, and then your favorite vegan cheese. So you could just skip making your own, but if you do, it just has that extra homemade touch. Start with the wonderful sauce, spread enough to cover the bottom. Once you have that, we'll proceed with half of the spaghetti squash. I'll just take half of that and put a nice even layer on top. Then take about two thirds of your cheese mixture, reserving the balance to spread on top. Now repeat and add the balance of your squash on top followed by the rest of the sauce and the rest of the cheese. So there you have it. Look at those layers of deliciousness. I'm gonna take that, pop it in the oven, cover it up, it'll bake for 20 minutes, and then we'll remove the cover and it'll bake for 10 more minutes, and then I'll come back, slice into it, and show you what it looks like. And here we have it, our finished product. I'm gonna serve it with a small kale salad and a little slice of bread since we aren't using the noodles. <laughs> so I'm going to cut this up serve us a slice for me and my husband, give it a taste, and say goodbye. All right, there's our first piece. And our second. Oh yeah, this looks really good. And I know it's really good. <laughs> This is delicious. You've got the spaghetti squash, you've got the sauce that's been homemade, and you've got tons of vegan cheese, and it's just a wonderful, wonderful meal. You can even put a little on your bread. Ooh. That's some good, good eating right there. This is comfort food. Enough food for me and my husband. I mean, we can put this in the fridge and eat off it all week. So with the salad and the squash, we've got a really healthy meal. We've got the protein and the nuts and your cheese. And when you first, if you just taste the cheese on its own when you're making it, you'll think, I don't really know what cheese baking. It doesn't really taste that great. But once it bakes together with everything else, oh, it tastes like the real thing. It tastes amazing. So I think you're really going to love this recipe. I hope you give it a try. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Krista with ArtisticVegan.com. I'll see you next time.